What a win for Ego. All hold Ego. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second, hold on. What? Just one second. Turn the music down, please. Ethan, I gotta admit, I'm a little impressed. Strung together, some wins here on Ring of Honor. Looking pretty good. So here's my thought. I think, now hear me out, Tony. I think you're the perfect person to join the Premier Athlete brand, okay? Now, it's going to be difficult, and you cannot quit like you have everything else in your life, like your vlogs, your tag team partners, and American Top Team, okay? But if you stick with us, we can take you to the next level. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. So what you're offering me is to get ahead? Hey, yep. you, can, you can guarantee me that? The next level. I don't know, Salt Lake, what do you guys think? I almost thought we went a whole episode without Smart Mark Sterling is what I thought. Man. Hold, hold on. I'm, I'm sorry, there's too many of you making noise at the same time. Do you guys think I should join the, what was that, premier athlete brand? Let's have a conversation with that. Uh, listen, Mark, I have not been a man of the people very long, but I think I understand their language. I think that's a hard freaking no, douchebag. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Whoa. No, 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 no. Your answer is irrelevant, Ethan Page. Your answer is irrelevant. Mark, what makes you think that I want to team with this soft, disgusting body right there, huh? You're right. You're right. What makes you think he deserves to stand next to me? Ethan Page, you don't even deserve to stand in that ring. You should be sitting out there with the rest of the fat, disgusting trash of Salt Lake City. As a matter of fact, Ethan Page, you should be out there every single week participating in my group training. Oh, oh the, the offer just... The offer's changed, everybody. They've upped the ante. Now, I don't have a management. I have a personal trainer. And hold on, let me address something to you real quick. I think sitting in this crowd with these fans sounds like a better spend of my time than talking to assholes like you. you know, but, but, but listen, listen. You, listen. Me and these people know that personal training costs a lot of money. So how about I take you up on that offer? How about next week you give me a one-on-one -on -one session in the middle of this ring? Oh, well. I, I like the way that sounds. And since you're a dumbass meathead, let me make sure one plus one equals two. Me and you in a match on Ring of Honor next week. Well. You got a deal. Deal. Wow, there it is. Challenge me. Hey, guys, we worked out a deal. Page here. He's just out on his feet. Oh, this cradle we've seen. Locks it in. And down goes Sneaks. And looking for the slingshot into the cutter. Wait for Nice to get back to his feet. And got, got him. That should be enough for Kabani. Hooks the leg, two, two one. Wow. Two, two. And Paige has won bouts with that very move before. Absolutely on Ring of Honor. Wow, the headshot only gets two. Looking for the Ego's Edge, but it's Sterling. Swing and a miss. Oh, shotgun. Wait a minute. Two of the feet are on the ropes. He's oh, down. Goodness. The winner of this match, Tony. Wow. Absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous or not, Rick Abad has to win. Sterling getting involved. You're right, Caprice. It is a win. And, and unfortunately for Paige, there's no asterisk. The record book. The record book.
book is printed in black and white. And clear as day, it will say Tony Nese has pinned Ethan Page and snapped his five-match winning streak. That's exactly what he did, Rick Abani. That five in a row is shut down at the six. Maybe Ethan Page overlooked Tony Nese and now has to reset all over again. He could do nothing but shake his hand on that one. Wow. Code of honor called for by Bryce Remsburg. Keep that same energy, Ego. We'll see how Paige responds to this adversity here. After defeating Christopher Daniels, former world champion, on a roll, it is now Paige. Code of honor, baby. Code of honor. Ready for it. And Ethan Page in losses like this, Capri. Sometimes we say we say did the person on the losing end maybe overlook his opponent? No, he fought two on one tonight. Absolute handicap match, in my opinion. Be all right, buddy. I don't know what you're doing here, all right? Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean, what am I doing? You literally gave me your business card, which I have been calling this number every night for the last week, trying to set up that personal training session you offered me in the middle of the ring. Yeah. And I get keep sending to this automated answering machine saying they're gonna get back to me when they can. Yeah, well, that's because we get back to people in order of importance, okay? Now we're done with you. We're in the middle of the interview. If you could scoot along, please get it at the back of the line, all right? Sure. So, sounds great. Now, Lexi, if you could pay attention to what I'm talking about right. over here. It's oh, so sorry, Mark. I just took a look at the line, and uh, there's no one behind me, so that would mean I'm next. And the customer's well, always uh, right, listen, so... Ethan, okay? I beat you already. It's over. I'm done with you, and I'm moving on to bigger and better things. That's right. He's in the title picture now, pal. That's right. You guys need me. Congratulations. Now, would you say you did that fair? Did you play by the rules? Did you actually use your pure wrestling talent to yeah. beat all ego Ethan Page? Okay. No. Sweetheart, sweetheart, hey. If you want to really wrestle, we can talk, but you lost, so bye. Yeah. Oh, so you're the wrestler out of this group, right? So out of the two of you, you're one that actually plays by the rules? All right, well, it sounds to me like you want to wrestle Josh Woods here next week. Sure. If All right. that's what you're picking up, that's fine. Yeah, and then maybe you'll leave us alone. We're done with you, especially after next week. Let's go, guys. Come on. We'll celebrate somewhere else. Reservation plan. Toodaloo, boy. Here with Ethan Page. Last week we saw you help Serpentico get the win over Tony Nese. Uh, yep. No, no, no. Are they doing it right now? I'm sorry, it took me a while to get my outfit what on. Is that? Well, they're Who's out there right now? Okay, Who's okay. That? Hey, Tony! Tony! Listen, I put this outfit on. I heard you say that we're going to do some group training. What are you doing? But you're Word, wrestling boys. right now? You... Okay, uh, my bad, dude. I... This is probably a bad time. Ethan Page is some great workout gear at Serpentico. We'll look up Wait, these, a minute. Two, and then that's it! Yeah. Do you consider this a win for Ethan Page? Not only do I consider it a win for Ethan Page, I consider it one of my biggest wins since coming to Ring of Honor. Uh -huh. And now I, knew that you'd be in I here can get away doing from an these guys. We've been looking around for you. First of all, yep. I could get you a restraining order on you, and you wouldn't be allowed in the right. building. Second of all, I'm here, here. Second of all, I'm here to tell you that I filed an injunction in the state of Kansas, and we're going to get the match against Serpentico thrown out. It didn't even count. What? Tony needs to because you cheated. Because you interrupted the match. Okay, let me let me hire you real quick. When you go for that injunction, can you also apply for my match with Josh Woods to get thrown out? Page, come on! I have an eyes in the back of your head. Ethan Page gonna steal it. Wait a minute! Inside cradle, and it's Nice who rolls Woods over. Okay. And also my match with Tony Nice to get thrown out. There's no fun. 
cheated? You think I need to cheat to beat you? Definitely not. Yes. If there's you footage. think I need to cheat? Yes. No, you just can't handle the fact that I'm 1-0 and against you. 100%. 1-0. That means I've beaten you and you've never beaten me. Correct. And do you think maybe the fact I came face to face with you a couple weeks ago and asked for a match and you ran away like a little chicken? Ethan, okay? I beat you already. It's over. I'm done with you and I'm moving on to bigger and better things. We couldn't have had the match then? Then I play a little games with Josh Woods? Fine, you're here now face to face with me again. You can tuck your tails and run if you want or accept my challenge next week one on one and you can try your best to make it Tony Nice 2 and 0 against Ethan Page. You want me to give you the pleasure of losing to me one more time? That's oh, fine. Please, I enjoyed it so much. You got the first it. Time. And then we're done with you, okay? Can't wait. We're good. Okay. I guess it's not moving on to bigger and better things. with Ethan Page, things got a little out of hand. Uh, can you explain your actions? Explain my actions? How about Ethan Page explain his actions, huh? We see his little mind games there, getting Mark ejected from the match, in the middle of the match, right in front of me. I know he's had that planned all along, because he knows he can't beat me. This is ridiculous, okay? So I did what I had to do after the match. I had to prove to everyone why I'm the premier athlete and why I'm better than Ego. Number one, the match with Serpentico thrown out in Wichita. It didn't happen. This match against Ethan Page, According to the record books, as far as I'm concerned, also didn't happen. You know why? Because I was thrown out. I have a manager's license. I am licensed to be there at ringside for my clients. As far as I'm concerned, as far as he's concerned, the match didn't even happen, okay? I said we were done with you after tonight. Well, we're not, because it's not over. I just talked to a very angry Tony Nese and Mark Sterling, and they have said that it's not over between you guys. How are you feeling? What's not over? Uh, this, this, this back and forth, this rivalry. Um, oh, and they, and they decide that, right? Not me. Not management. Not the company. Not the rules that they make us abide by. Like when I shook your hand, Tony Nice, after you beat me like a man. After everyone in the arena knew you cheated. After I knew you cheated. After you knew you cheated. After your stupid ass manager who walks around here pretending like a freaking lawyer. He knows you cheated. Everyone in the world knows you cheated. And I still, I still stood in the middle of the ring, abided by these freaking rules that were made by this freaking company, and I shook your hand like a man, and now you 
don't even have the balls to tell me yourself that we're not finished. No, you rushed here, the two of you, I'm sure, to get your interview in first, so you could change the narrative to benefit you. And you could spill your lies and BS, not only to Lexi, but to anyone who will freaking listen, especially these fans. You want to say we're not done, that's fine. I don't need to be told we're not done. I know we're not done because I say we're not done. I'm going to make sure, Tony Nese, I am going to make sure that when we're done, the last thing you do is shake my freaking hand. And still to come, we have the contract signing by Tony Khan of two men that can't stand each other, Ethan Page and Tony Nese. Thank you very much, Erie. Welcome back to Ring of Honor. And now, ahead of Ring of Honor's final battle, I'd like to bring out two of the competitors for a contract signing for this huge event coming up December 15th in Dallas, Texas. First of all, the most physically fit man in professional wrestling, the premier athlete, Tony Nese. Well, we welcome Tony Khan, our chairman, CEO, owner, and general manager of Ring of Honor to preside over this contract signing. A lot to take in and digest. We heard from Maria, the boys of Planet Peacock, to Maria and her baby birds. We go from the harmony and love that was in the eyes of Garrison and Carter, and just really the, the hypnotized look in the eyes of Garrison to men that won't even reveal their eyes at Tony Nese. The premier athlete, you see smart Mark Sterling, always handing out those business cards. He's never stopped working. And you know, Tony Khan maybe looking for some representation from Sterling. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the pride of Canada, all ego Ethan Page. And all ego Ethan Page who sought out Ring of Honor as a place to clear his mind, to regroup, to reset. Ran off the tremendous winning streak, training with Cesar Bonani, has become absolutely shredded. His body right, his mind right. Coming off a huge match. And a huge match to come against Kenny Omega on Collision this Saturday. But tonight, the contract will be finalized for a date one week from tomorrow night, right here on Honor Club, a grudge match for the ages here on Ring of Honor. Guys, please, please, gentlemen, please. We agreed, we agreed while I'm out here, please, no physicality, guys, please relax. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a rivalry that will settle coming up soon at Ring of Honor final battle, and the two of you ahead of this match have asked for an opportunity to address each other, address the fans here tonight in Erie, Pennsylvania. And it's a unique situation because of the personal animosity between the two of you. It's been requested that this match be conducted at final battle as an I quit match. Ooh. That's right, we made sure that we added our stipulation of the I quit match because you are handcuffing me to the ring, not my idea. But we thought it was very apropos that you would quit to Tony Nese at final battle, just like you've quit every single thing you've ever done in your entire life. Folks, I actually have a little visual aid. If we could bring that up on the screen, please. Got a visual. Oh, whoa, we got a big boy up there. What's wrong Folks, with that? Folks, that is 
what Ethan Page looked like his entire life. Until very recently, he decided to get in shape. Very impressive. But we all know that in three months' time, he's going to look like that again when he quits his fitness journey, just like he quit his tag team partners, his vlogs, and every professional endeavor he's ever embarked on. Ooh. That is a personal shot, Caprice. Sign right there. The stakes have never been higher. This is unprecedented. Tony Khan presiding over this contract signing. Mark Sterling hitting Paige in the heart, though, with those comments. Yeah, those are, those are the comments that make you challenge yourself because Ethan Page, just like anybody else, when they get on a great journey. Before I sign this, uh, you mind if I get some stuff off my mind, too? Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll get to that, Tony. You see, when I decided to come to Ring of Honor, I had a goal in mind. Tony, I wanted nothing more than to wear gold in Ring of Honor and honor that promise I made my daughter and becoming a champion in this company, representing you, representing this brand, and representing this locker room as one of the faces of Ring of Honor. And Tony, I honestly think the absolute world of you. I think you're one of the best professional wrestlers going today. I really do. I would never, ever, 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 ever say anything about losing to a performer like you. But when the two of you decided to derail my winning streak and take my opportunity from taking that TV title from Samoa Joe, you really proud of that win, Tony Nese? Because let me tell you, after final battle, after I sign this contract, after I make you say I quit in the middle of the ring, I will be moving back on that path and making my way to gold in this company. But you, sir, you, sir, will be finished with Ethan Page. And when you look left and when you look right, you will still be surrounded by idiots giving you bad advice. But make no mistake about it, Tony. When I win a championship, I'm going to be adding to the legacy of all ego Ethan Page. You? All you're going to be able to do is thank Mark Sterling for your biggest victory in your career, beating Ethan Page one time. So please enjoy the next two weeks because you can enjoy sharing the spotlight with all ego Ethan Page. Because when I move away from you, so does the light, bitch. Whoa! Wow. Shots fired, contract signed. Page, Nice, final battle, I quit match. Now, Ethan, Ethan, hey, Ethan Page. You stay right there. Now you know, and I know, that when you say you're onto bigger and better things, that is just your stupid, delusional brain telling you lies. Because you are a quitter and you are a loser. Hey, hey, hey! And you know the worst part about all of this? Is that Mark came to you with a solution, not a problem. You created the problem. And Mark, out of the kindness of his own heart, wanted to help you out. But me, I never wanted to help you. Because I already know that you are just like all these losers here in Pennsylvania. You, Ethan Page, are beyond helping. So I want you to listen up right now. Okay, I'm gonna take one more stab at giving you some advice. And you better lean in and listen closely, Ethan Page, because this is the most important advice in your entire life. Make sure you always take your protein. Oh! 
What? The protein powder to the eyes! And knees now pummeling! Pummeling Page eight days away from final battle! I never expected Power to be thrown at this. I've never seen Mark Sterling do something like this. Setting this the table is up with a body. This is low even for Sterling. This is low even for Nice. And Paige fighting back. Yeah, but fighting. he's blinded, Rick and Bonnie. Oh, and the chop block on the knee. A move so dangerous, it's been banned in the NFL and pro wrestling. And oh, oh, God. Rattling the skull. And Ethan Page, when you say I quit, you're also admitting that you are a fat loser and you don't belong in my ring. Oh, come on. No, oh, God. <laughs> nice giving in to his own insecurities and trying to drag Paige down to the darkness with him. Just shattering the table. Oh, come on. That's a new low, Riccoboni. That's a new low, even for Mark Sterling. My God, that's low. The stakes have never been higher. I quit match one week from Friday, right here on Honor Club. Tony Nese, Ethan Page. Wow. Hey, Ethan, do you have a second? Uh, yeah. Hey, man, I just, uh, just had a quick question regarding your uh, big match against Kenny Omega. Tonight. Yeah. Uh, what's going through your head? I know this is this is probably one of the biggest matches of your career. Well, I was put through a table two days ago. Um, my ribs are not 100. percent So you're telling me this is one of the biggest matches of my career, and I'm not feeling too hot right now. And on top of it, a thing that's kind of been pissing me off all week is that people have literally been congratulating me on having a match announced against another man that breathes the same air as me. I, I, I don't know why people feel the need to congratulate me on talking my way into a marquee match in the country that I was born in. So I'm not in a good mood, but I'm 100% here because it's my job and I'm going to do my job and I'm gonna make sure I earn my pay tonight. But I do know for a fact that Kenny Omega makes more money than me so I'm gonna make sure he earns his pay too. Does that answer your question about my excitement for the match tonight? Yeah. Yeah. I'm in a bit of a mood. Everyone in this locker room patting me on the back for wrestling somebody else just proves how weak-minded everybody is here. And my mindset going into tonight is making sure Kenny Omega earns his pay. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry, what'd you want to ask me? So uh, I know you came up short against Kenny Omega uh, in your home country of Canada, but I just wanted to ask, I know that you've mentioned before that you've wanted to win gold for your daughter this year. And I know you lost, but I just want to know, have you gotten one step closer to that goal even through this defeat? I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to do next. Uh, I gave everything I had. I, <clears throat> I didn't expect to go into the match with bruised ribs. I didn't expect <clears throat> to get the wind knocked out of me on a power bomb in the middle of the ring. I also didn't expect to get V triggered <clears throat> in the face, what, five, six times. I just know I gave my best, man. Um, I, tr I tried my absolute best. And that's all I can do. I, I had an opportunity tonight, just like I had an opportunity that Tony Nese took away from me to go after the Ring of Honor TV title. So yeah, I, I definitely could have won a title for my daughter if Tony Nese didn't take it away from me. And that brings me <coughs> to tonight. I can't focus on the loss because six days from now, I have an I quit match. Six days from now, I have an I quit match at final battle, and I just got my ass kicked in my home country by one of the best wrestlers in the world. And I can't think about that, I can't focus on that, I can't put my energy <coughs> into this loss. I got Tony Nese at final battle. Tonight, I lost because my shoulders 
were pinned to the mat, not because I gave up, not because I didn't have enough in the tank, not because I didn't have enough willpower, not because I'm not good enough. It's three seconds. Three seconds over and over has changed the course of my entire career, but not in December 15th, not at final battle. No, it's not three seconds. It's not me tapping out. It's not count outs. It's not disqualification. The decision to lose is in my hands. The only person that has to quit is me. I have to say I quit and I won't. I refuse. I will not. Those words will not come out of my mouth because I have to Come on, come on, you come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do it. Come on. Do it right now. Just say I quit right now. Do it. Come on, I'm ready. Come on. Take the embarrassment. Say it right now. Come on. Fight a battle. Do it right now. I don't give a Just say it right now. Just say it right now. Come on, Tom. It appears I made a huge mistake. The mistake was that in my hubris, I offered my services to a broken man. We offered you success, and all you did was spit in my face and make jokes. That's fine. When you couldn't handle losing to a better man, you became unhinged. I honestly feel bad for the family that you always talk about. You are obsessive, compulsive, and egotistical. And now, the only way we can get you to let it go is to agree to an unfair war at Final Battle. An I Quit match where I'm handcuffed to the ring. That's okay because when you quit to Tony Nese in the middle of the ring in Dallas, Texas, it will be a poetic metaphor to your entire life. It will be just like you quit on Scorpio Sky. Just like you quit on your family's hopes and dreams. But this time when you're laying there alone, battered and beaten, there will be nobody standing over you to offer you a helping hand because everyone in your life will already know that you are just a quitter. <laughs>